Hey, it's Kelly Thurvey, Wholesalers. Today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough video on a Columbus Compass Series by Palomino, uh, the 378 MBC. This one does have the mid bunk, but you still get the nice rear living feel. Um, you can see here, this does have the friction entry door, so you don't have to worry about if it gets real windy, slamming the door closed or anything like that. Um, it does have the nice aluminum steps here, which are going to be a lot more sturdy than your regular fold down steps there as well and all you're going to do is just lift up and these are the zero gravity so i mean they're not heavy at all you can see they just kind of float there just goes all the way up and then this will lock in place over here on the sides lower it down and it also has the adjustable feet so if you're on uneven ground you can change those you just pull these pins right here raise and lower it how you want it all right, you can see this one does have the double power awning, so it does have the one over the outside kitchen, which is a very nice feature. Also, the door is up quite a bit higher. Um, I'm 6'3", and I have plenty of room to get underneath there. This will have the fully enclosed underbelly. This one is equipped with the six-point hydraulic auto leveling, which the switch on that's for the other side over there. It does have the two outside speakers. This is gonna be the exhaust for your furnace. Um, if you're ever wondering, Hey, you kick on your furnace. You're wondering why the air is not hot right away. Sometimes it takes a little while for the ductwork to warm up. If you're ever wondering if it's actually producing hot air, just go ahead and put your hand close to this and that'll be blowing hot air immediately. You have an outside receptacle there. All magnetic door latches, so you don't have to worry about finding the little latch and putting it on. Just lift this up. Once it hits, you're good to go. You can see here, nice finished off, nice pass-through storage here. You're gonna have the central vac over here, satellite cable hookup, receptacle, outside stereo. This is gonna be your battery disconnect. All you're gonna do is turn that to off. So if you're ever, say you park the camper or put it in storage, just disconnect the battery. That way the LP detector and things like that don't run your battery. Hoses for this are in the front storage compartment. It is nice too, because you can sweep out in here as well. And there's a port on the inside of the coach. We'll touch on that later. Slam latch storage doors too, so all you do is let it go, locks in place. Does have the two 30 pound propane bottles, so one here, one on the other side with the auto change of a regulator. It's got the cream colored exterior. It's gonna have the LED light strip here, which the light, the switch for that's gonna be right here. And then the other switch is for your light inside your front compartment also it's going to have the solar prep so you can if you want to do a little portable solar panel set it out in the grass trickle charge your battery you can do that dual battery since it does have the residential refrigerator with the inverter um, there's your reservoir for your hydraulic fluid this is going to be for your outside spray port and this blue bag here is going to be for your central vac and you got your cranks there for your manual overrides. There's also a loading light here, switch right on the bottom. All right, over here you can see you have your other 30 pound propane bottle there. One on each side to keep the weight balanced out. Now right here is gonna be your switch for your auto leveling. Nice thing about this is it comes with this little instruction key code here. So to turn it on and off, you just hold down the up and down arrows simultaneously. And then if you wanna raise and lower it for hitch height, you can just do that here. If you wanna level the coach, all you do is pull it in, hit the auto level button, and it's gonna level the coach for you. So very, very easy. Nothing to be too worked up about. And here's gonna be your inverter. So all you do to turn that on, if you're running your refrigerator off of the 12 volt battery, you can just turn that on and that'll power your TV. It shows the amps there, the whole nine yards. Over here, you're gonna see you have all your water connections. So that blue hose I showed you in the front compartment, that'll screw in here, hot and cold, okay? I'm just gonna have a receptacle in here, has a water filtration system built into the coach for you. Black tank, gray tank push them in to close them, pull them out to open them. Then right up here, you're gonna see, so winterizing, if you wanna do that, all you're gonna do is put a hose into there, put the other end into your jug antifreeze, turn your pump on right here, and it'll pump the antifreeze through the lines. 
All you're going to want to do is just make sure you bypass your water heater, which is this valve right here. You leave that on normal when you're not winterizing the coach. Over here, you're going to be able to see, and it shows you exactly how to turn these valves. If you're normal there, winterize, turn it up. If you're over here, so this one down is tank fill, and you just screw the water hose into here. So if you go camping, they don't have water hookup where you're at. You're going to screw the water hose into here put it down to tank fill like it is now. And what that'll do is it'll fill an onboard fresh water tank. And then when you get to wherever you're going, you just turn the pump on, then it pumps the water out of the tank to your taps, toilet, what have you, shower. And then it is an on-demand pump, so you don't have to turn it on and off as you use it. When you, it feels it needs pressure, it turns the pump on. And then when it's done, it shuts it off. And then right there, right behind the auto leveling jack, you're gonna see that little valve. That is your fresh water drain, okay? So whenever you're done using the fresh water, just drain it right there and it just empties out. Now, if you have water hookup where you're camping, all you're gonna do is take this where it says city and it's pointing that way, screw the hose into here. Always make sure you use a water pressure regulator. What that's gonna do is it's gonna reduce the PSI down to about 45 PSI. And then when you're hooking up to city water, you don't ever have to use your pump or anything like that. It automatically pressurizes the system for you, okay? And the one up above here, it says black tank flush right on the bottom. And I'll show you what to do with that in just a second. So right down here, you're going to have your sewer hookup. So after you've been camping or if you got it plumbed in, hook your sewer hose up to that connection, put the other end in the hole. And the first thing you're going to want to do is come over here after you got the sewer hose hooked up and you're going to pull the black tank, okay, which is just your toilet. Pull that out and what that's going to do is it's going to drain the toilet. Let that run through for about, I don't know, I mean, depending on how full it is, a few minutes there, let that run through. While that's still open, then you're going to take your hose and you're going to screw it onto this black tank flush right here, this top one up here. And then what that'll do is, is sprays inside the black tank. Just make sure that this is still open because if it's not, it's gonna pull back up into the toilet, okay? Then let that run for about 15, 20 seconds. That's gonna clean off the inside of the black tank. Shut your water off, okay? Then go ahead and close it, okay? Then you're gonna pull your gray valve, which is your sinks in your shower, and that's gonna rinse out your hose. And then over here, you're gonna see another black valve right in front of the wheel that's going to be for your galley and it tells you right out here on the outside of the coach on this sticker it'll say galley tank right here which is just your kitchen sink so the gray is your sinks and shower in your bathroom kitchen sink is your galley and then the black is your toilet okay very very easy if you have any questions definitely let us know Latch this side first, and you come over here, slam latch door there. It does have the bigger 10 gallon water heater here. It is gonna be gas electric. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do whenever you get to where you're camping, for the first time when you fill up your water heater after it's been winterized, and it is winterized right now, pull this pressure release so it's straight out. Then what it's gonna do is it's gonna if you're hooked to city water, you're hooked to fresh, it's gonna start filling this up. Now, if you don't have that open, it's just gonna be a vapor lock. So you'll wanna make sure that that's open. Once water starts pouring out of here, go ahead and shut it. Then you can go ahead and light it up on gas or run it on electric. Now, right down here between, behind this little white piece of tape is the power button for the electric side. So the gas side's on the inside, electric's out here. We'll go around here to the back side of the coach. You can see all your slide outs here. You can have access behind the water for the ice maker there. It does have a 50 amp power hookup. Now, the one thing you always wanna check, a lot of times people say that their camper's not getting power and they're plugged in. Always make sure that that little blue light is on. That means you're actually getting power from the pole because there are breakers on the post um, or if it's bad, what have you. This plastic just threads off here, pull it off, store that in your compartment backup camera up there now the bumper you can pull out the end caps a lot of people store their sewer hose in there roof ladder so you can get up there and do maintenance it is a full walkable roof so very very nice again the out the awning here now when you're running out your awnings you hold the buttons down 
And once you start to see the metal on the tube, that's as far as you want to go. Outside refrigerator, this is just 110. Microwave, just like at home. Now in here, you're going to have a little pull-out cooktop. Just unstrap it, and this just pulls directly out. Two burner cooktop there. And then the LP Quick Connect is right below there. And then the gas line extension is right in this drawer for you. Then just make sure it's strapped in so it's not slammed up against this door during transit. LED lighting throughout. Aluminum wheels. We'll go in and take a look on the inside. All right, so you can see here, this does give you the nice rear living feel, but it also still has the bunks. So you're not wasting 10, 15 feet of the back of the coach for bunk beds. It kind of kicks them off to the side, gives you a nice feel. Now this one does have the nicer furniture in it, has the nicer shades, ceiling fan, LED lighting throughout, MCD roller shades. So the, the higher end shades there, tinted safety glass, very, very nice. Um, has a theater seats over here, buttons right on the inside. So now the fireplace below, it's got the sound bar. It's got the Blu-ray player there, so you can see all that. Powered up, this will produce heat, or you can just do it for looks. You have the TV up here as well, nice big flat screen. We'll come with two permanent chairs for the dinette. The other two folding chairs are up in the washer dryer closet. I'll show you that. Nice residential high-rise faucet. Now you can see this refrigerator has this little block here. Just unthread this. You just want to leave this in during transit. That way all your stuff isn't laying out on the floor when you get to your final destination. So just unthread this for you real quick and show you that. Now if you are running it on battery for the inverter, just make sure you turn the inverter on on the outside. You can see that residential just like at home. Pull out a freezer on the bottom. Set your temperatures right up there. It's a pretty self-explanatory. Now, anytime you're actually plugged into 110, it's going to run right off of that, so you don't have to do anything extra. Then that inverter runs just on the outlet for this refrigerator. First thing you're going to want to do once you get to where you're camping is come over here to your cooktop after you've turned on your propane bottles. So turn on both your propane bottles, come here to your cooktop, Turn all three burners on high. Use your sparker knob. Let that light burn that for about 20, 30 seconds. What that's gonna do is it's gonna actually purge the gas lines. Get all the air pockets out of the lines that way when you actually wanna fire your water heater, wanna fire your furnace, everything will function properly. Nice big residential microwave here. All right, right in here you're gonna see you have the bunk room here. It does have the, the bunk bed that folds up, and then you can pin that up high. This will also fold out and make into a bed as well. Entertainment center over here. It does have a TV backer, so if you want to mount one on the wall, you can do that. The backer, which is the nice big piece of plywood, is right behind there. Cable and satellite hookup over here. Plenty of storage. You have heat ducted around the floor. AC is always going to be in through the ceiling. Okay. A little more storage there. The monitor for your backup camera, which goes in your tow vehicle. Thermostat here works just like at home. You have USB charging ports as well. With another nook there. They try to put a little bit of storage places any, anywhere they can find room. Um, just take advantage of all the spaces. So this is gonna be your monitor panel. This is kind of where all the, the goodies are found in the coach. So you can see it's slide outs. This is gonna be, this one's actually not labeled. The only one that's not labeled besides this one. So this is your ceiling fan. This is gonna be for the awning over the outside kitchen, okay? And then this one is gonna be for your main awning. Now, if you look out here, we'll see if we can do this without causing a mess. So if you see the awning there, if we run this out and you start to see the tube right there, then you let off, okay? Now the nice thing about an electric awning is if you want to have it just partially the way in, say it's a little bit windier, you can run it in and you can stop it wherever you want. However you want to do it. So nice feature there. 
You're gonna have your slide out rooms, door side DS for the scare lights, off door side patio awning lights, the whole nine yards. You can see interior lights here, all LED lighting throughout. So it's gonna keep the coach much cooler. You're gonna have a water pump switch here and one on the outside where the pull valves are. You're gonna have, this is an on-demand pump. So what that means is if you're running off your fresh tank, not hooked up to water, turn your pump on, then you go over and turn the faucet on, the pump kicks on. You shut the faucet off, the pump kicks off. Water heater right here, so you have gas and electric. Now remember, if you run it off electric, you have to hit the switch on the outside of the water heater as well. Tank heater's here if you're camping in colder climates. So it's kind of all spelled out for you right here. And then your monitor panel, if you just hold this button down so the fresh tank's empty, batteries charged, black, gray, galley. And right down here, I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but you're going to hear a little hum down here. That is just a converter fan in behind here, which converts 110 down to 12 volt, because most of the things in this coach are going to be 12 volt, especially all the lights, things like that. So you have 110 breakers are here. They're all labeled here. 12 volt fuses are here. They're labeled here. Okay. And then right up here, just to power this on here, this little tablet here, if you hit the home button, it'll give you like tutorials if you have any questions or anything like that. Just hit the My RV. If you wanna to go to the leveling, you can actually run the leveling from the inside of the coach and it'll tell you the volts on the battery. Okay, receptacle here. It also does have a loft up here. Pull out ladder, so you can see that. Gives you plenty of space up there to utilize. And here in the master, this is going to be the slide out button for your bed slide here. So you can see that again, his and her reading lights, all ducted AC throughout the ceiling. Window on each side of the bed so you get some cross ventilation. Window at the foot of the bed. And right in here, you're going to have your washer dryer hookup. And then these are your two other living room chairs. Shows you if you do want to put a washer dryer in where the vent location would be. And then I'll show you the side of the so a shoe closet up in the front, hanging bar going all the way across. There is a light in here as well. And then if you ever can't find a switch, there's always like a and right in the center of the light, there's always this little button you can push that to turn it off and on. Just make sure this is latched during transit. All right, we'll go in here does have a door, a sliding door with a mirror, so you can pull that and close, give you some privacy. Now in here in the bathroom, you're gonna see it does have a huge shower, skylight over the tub. Again, I'm 6'3", and I can stand in here without even using the skylight, so very, very nice. Has a little bench in here as well, so you can see that there. Now it does have a foot flush toilet, porcelain foot flush toilet, so you can see that rubber seal there. If you push this down about, I don't know, an inch, it's gonna release the water, because you always want to leave a little water in the bowl and you push it all the way down, it'll flush it completely. Also, you're going to have a fan here, so if you just crank this up, and there's a little power button right down here to turn it on and off. All right. So just give you one good look around here. Very, very nice coach again. And if you guys have any questions, nice big island, give us a call at 877-877-4494. Thank you.